Portugal is a popular tourist destination with many attractions, including cities, beaches, and historic landmarks. Some say Portugal is one of the safest countries in the world, with low crime rates. Budget travelers can expect to spend around $50 to $70 per day, including accommodation, food, transportation, and activities. Mid range travelers can expect to spend around $100 to $150 per day. Some say the best time to visit Portugal is in spring March, May, when the country is in bloom and waking after the winter. Others say fall between September and October is a good time to visit because the sun is still shining, the weather is warm, and many of the crowds have dispersed. In this video you will get best attraction in Portugal starting from number 10, Mott Museum as the name suggests. This museum of art, architecture, and technology primarily focuses on three important areas. The museum is known for hosting international exhibitions with works of contemporary artists, thinkers, and architects. Located west of the city center by the River Tagus, this museum is one of the best places to visit in Portugal. Number 9. Originally built as a defense for the city, the Bellum Tower was later transformed into a lighthouse and then a customs center. It is also one of the best places to visit in Portugal to witness the incredible Manuanoino style of architecture by famous architect and sculptor Francisco de Arruda. Number 8. This Moorish castle is one of the most popular places to visit in Portugal that fundamentally served as a military fortification testifies to the presence of Islamic rulers in the country. It is believed that these were initially built during the 8th and 9th centuries and were later expanded. They look over the town of Sinatra and served as a watchtower thus standing guard to Lisbon and the surrounding region. Number 7. Cascais is one of the most charming and traditional Portuguese fishing towns that has developed into a resort town over the years. It is located along the Lisbon coastline with Sintra lying to its north. Cascais is an attractive, stylish and sophisticated town that has historically served as a summer retreat of the Portuguese royal family. Today you can witness a beautiful blend of its rich heritage and modern amenities. The city is dotted with quaint cobbled streets, lavish villas, fascinating museums, imposing forts, as well as livery restaurants and bars that keeps the overall atmosphere here buzzing. Number 6. Porto is located on the northwest of Portugal and is a coastal city. It is popular for its bridges, production of port wine, medieval districts cobblestone streets, churches, Baroque-style architecture, culture, discoveries, history, culture, and cuisine. Number 5. One of the grandest cities of Portugal, Braga is located in the north of the country and is one of the most important religious and commercial centers here. The city exudes spectacular beauty with an old-world charm and historic splendor with handsome mansions, breathtaking churches, and magnificent palaces dotting the entire city. Number 4. Sintra The glittering gems in the crown of Portugal's most beautiful cities, Sintra has also been recognized by UNESCO for its beautiful landscape and history. It is located on the foothills of the Serra de Sintra Hills. Number 3 Madeira is a region in Portugal which comprises of four naturally beautiful islands located off the northern coast of Africa. It is famous for its unique happy and positive charm amid a subtropical beach climate. Number 2 Liria is a small city in Portugal that is also considered to be one of its secret treasures that is known for its historical heritage as one of the first cities that was occupied by the Moorish invaders in the 10th century. It is located in the Liria district, which is in the central region of Portugal, midway between Porto and Lisbon. Number 1 Lisbon at first glance. Lisbon's got everything you could want from a centuries-old European city with its winding cobblestone streets and a skyline dotted with medieval castles. But it's more than just its past. Now, the older sites feel right at home within Lisbon's more modern vibe. 